Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, railing. So, so um, you can see uh, we have one railing is which is a uh, oval shape, and this one's uh, like a, a spline shape. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to model this. So first, let's create a project. Okay, so first create a floor. So use this uh, ellipse shape. Okay, so this is the floor. So now let's create a railing. So uh, as you can see, there's no ellipse shape. And also if you pick line, so you won't be able to pick this edge, the edge of this floor. Okay. So that's that's okay. What we need to do is so uh, so this is the the floor plan of this floor. So we just need to go to file, export, CAD format, DWG, and next I'll save into this one, which is today's date, and I click OK overwrite. Okay, so now go to insert link cat and find that file. So this one and I'll click OK open. So now if I so this is still the floor, so I'll H H and then this is the cat DWG file. So now we can go to architecture railing pick line so uh, so now you will uh, see you can pick a little line here so tab click and finish so now if we go to 3d view so you will see this is the railing and also you will see uh, the patterns not quite right so what we need to do is go to edit type Balanced placement under here. Break pattern add. Change this to never. Okay, and okay, and okay. So now that's that's it. Um, okay, so the next one. So I'm going to model a, a spline. So I'm going to use the. Uh, Sorry, which one did I use? Model line. That, that, that's fine. Model line. Um, and go spline. Okay, so I'll create a spline. So this will be a spline. And then, same. If I use a railing straight away, you won't be able to pick, pick this spline. Okay, so let me cancel it. Now I'll. Uh, let me just hide HH hide this and I'll export export this view again. Okay, so I'll export DWG. Next I'll overwrite that file. Okay and okay. And then, oh maybe I, I can't use the HH so that's fine I'll, I'll HR I'll hide them VH okay so let's do it again export DWG next and overwrite that okay yes so now if I go to insert link care oh sorry not this one manage link Okay, manage link and on the CAD format, click on this one, reload and OK. So now if I move this spline away, you will see where is it? Okay, uh, hang on, let, me, let me try it again. So manage link, reload. Huh. Interesting. Oh, it's here, but it's not visible in that view. Why? Oh, yeah. Because I hide that 
as cat file. So our on high element. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. So now we see uh, we can see this spline of in the DWG file, but still we can't we won't be able to pick this. See, it's different to that uh, shape, the oval shape. Spline we still we can't can't pick this spline. So what we need to do is we need to edit this spline in AutoCAD. Okay, so let's go to uh, open that file. So here I'll open this file. File. So you will see this this line is still a spline, still a spline. So what we need to do is use the uh, command. So P E D I T. Okay, enter. So it will ask you, do you want to turn it into one, 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 one polyline? Yes. So enter again. So this is the pre um, how to pronounce it? Precision, precise precision from zero to nineteen ninety nine, and I I found that zero is enough. So typing zero, enter. And I think that's that's it. So escape and select this. So you will see this spline becomes a a polyline. Okay. And now we can just save this file and go back to Revit and go to Insert, go to Manager Link, C C A D Format, select this file, reload, and OK. So now we can go Architecture. Rating, pick line, so you will see. You can now you can pick the lines. Of course, tab, click, and finish. So let's go to 3D view again. That's that's it. Okay, so it's quite easy. You just need to for spline you will need to use uh, AutoCAD, but for uh, the oval shape you don't. You just export, import. Or link link always link when you can uh, when you can okay so do not import link okay so that's it thank you for watching I'll see you next time bye